Okay, here we have question seven. Question seven says the first three figures of the shapes form connecting the lines of unit length are shown below. And what we need to do is we need to draw figure four. Now, I'm not the best of artists, but we're going to try a little thing here. We know that first one of one square, two square, three square. So this one gonna have four square so to draw four squares let me do three that's another square and i need one more square i know my squares are not perfect but just 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 bear with it all right it's not it's not the worst all right it's not the worst so as you can see right here one square Figure two, two square, figure three, three square, figure four, four square. Now we need to construct our triangles on the top. One triangle, two triangle, three triangle. So of course it's gonna be four triangle. So do. Then we bring this down, one triangle. We need our next triangle now. Bring this up. We'll carry it down, two triangle. Then we'll bring this up. Okay, let me just use this one. Bring it up. Bring it down. Bring it up. Bring it down. So nice. Ooh, I hate drawing so much, but this is figure four. All right, so that's figure four. That's two marks. Okay, that is two marks right there. So we can just write, that's our two marks. The next part says, the number of lines L in the shape and the perimeter P is given below. I will need to complete this table right here. I know I didn't read everything, but I pretty much read the summary of what's going on. So as we can see, the number of lines is six in figure one. So if you add it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So you can actually just add them and see that each is true. You can actually add them and see it here. One, this is for figure one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six lines for true and the perimeter is five. Now there's a pattern to study. When it is two, you add five to it. Three, add five more. Four, add five more, that would be 21. Five at five more would be 26. Yeah, man. Perimeter, add three to it, add three to it, add three more to it would be 14. So when it is five, it would be 17. That would be the perimeter. Okay, now we need to, now we need to realize the pattern of what's going on. Let's observe the pattern. It's best we can deduce a pattern. If I multiply one, if I multiply one times, five and then add one to it i get six if i multiply two times five and add one to it i get 11. so the pattern is that i multiply the figure by five and then i add one to it so it's five n plus one nice now over here now let's look at this if i if i multiply this by three and add two to it i get five if I multiply two times three, I get six and add two to it, I get eight. So if I multiply the figure by three and then add two to it, that would give me the perimeter. So that's the formula, nice. So now we can determine what figure number will give us 66 lines. So all we need to do is set the formula 5n plus one equal to 66. Bring over the one to get 5n equals 65. Divide both sides by five, and so we get n is equal to 13. So when n is 13, we're gonna get that the number of lines is 66. Now what's gonna be the perimeter? The perimeter is going to be three times n, n is 13 plus two. Three times 13 is 39, 39 plus two is 41. Now this one was really easy, look at that. 
who complete the table so, so easy. Nice. And so that's going to be the answer right here. Beautiful. And this takes square of question number. The question is finished. It can't be finished. That's too nice. Oh, no. One more. So this takes care of question seven, but there's one more part in it. It says, write a simplified expression in terms of n for the difference between the number of lines and the perimeter of any figure. So write a simplified expression. So D is equal to number of lines is given by 5n plus 1 minus the perimeter is given by 3n plus 2. Now 5n minus 3n is 2n. 1 minus 2 is negative one. So that's the difference between the perimeter and the number of lines, 2n minus one. And that takes care of this question right here.